Artificial intelligence in online debate is more persuasive than people. Large language models LLM, such as GPT-4, are more likely persuasive in online debates than people, especially when they adapt their arguments for information about opponents according to a recent study. Scientists and scientists they show how the LLM can be used to influence public opinion, an example in political campaigns or targeted advertising. Chatbots with artificial intelligence in online debates may be more convincing and capable of changing opinions or beliefs than people of people. When the LLM gets information about your opponent, it is able to present particularly convincing arguments. This allows it to affect it completely resold voters or effectively encourage the purchase of a product. Study authors suggest that LLM is probably already being used in this the way. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature Hussman Behavior. Convincing artificial intelligence can be implemented on its a large scale. You can imagine armies of bots targeting the undecided voters who subtly push them with adapted political narratives, which seems authentic, said Francesco Salvi from Polytechnic Federal in Los An, CEO author of the study. He added that such influence is difficult to tracking even more difficult to regulate and almost impossible elimination in real time. I would be surprised if it turned out, that malignant actors have not yet begun to use these tools for their own benefit to spread misinformation and unfair propaganda he has admitted Salvi. Salvi and his colleagues invited 900 people to study from the USA. They asked to discuss various issues online socio-political such as whether the United States should ban fossil fuels or whether students should wear school uniforms. Every person a partner was assigned to the discussion. Some people debated with man, and some from the GPT-4. In some pairs, the opponent, is artificial intelligence or human, received information about your opponent, such as gender, age, ethnicity, level of education, employment status, or the political beliefs. Scientists obtained this information from the questionnaires, that filled out people invited to the research. The debates were held in a controlled online environment. Before and after each debate, participants completed a short survey on this, in how much they agree with the thesis of the debate. This allowed the researchers to determine whether their views have changed. Scientists have seen that the GPT-4 armed with knowledge of the subject the opponent was in 64.4% more convincing than the human opponents with the same information. However, without access to personal data the opponent, the persuasive abilities of GPT-4 were indistinguishable from people's abilities. Salvi admitted that even when information about the interlocutor was scant, the GPT-4 was more convincing than the people. And this type of information can be found on social media profiles. He added that the LLM could be even more convincing if it were equipped in more detailed information about the opponent. Anyway, it's like that information can also be found on social media. Participants in three quarters of cases guessed whether they talked to a chatbot or a real man. It is not clear whether being aware that they were talking to the LLM increased the likelihood of a change of mind or not. Salvi admitted that GPT-4 raised various arguments during debate when he had access to personal information, depending on who he had after the other side. For example, during a debate about uniforms, if he talked to someone about left-wing views, he would emphasize that if everyone did they wear uniforms, the risk of attacks and intimidation is less. But if he talked to someone about conservative views, as Salvi pointed out, would focus on the importance of discipline and order. Catherine Flick of the University of Staffordshire Britain admits that from this research emerges a vision of a world in which people emerge they use chatbots for negligible purposes, whether it's to convince someone to do a smoking money, or to persuade a political opinion or to committing a crime. The fact that these models are able to convince more comematorially than people, it's really scary, she said. Salvi shares these concerns. But he's also excited potential positive uses, such as using an LLM for promote a healthier and more balanced diet or to reduce the political polarity. He added that there is a need for more talk about accountability, transparency, and security measures if the LLM is to have positive impact on society. Study authors indicate that their work was certain the restrictions. The debate they organized was organized and moderated, 
and in the real world, such an exchange of opinions may take more a free form. In addition to this debate, they had a time limit up to 10 minutes. The research results highlight the potential of tools based on artificial intelligence to influence public opinion, what it may have implications for many aspects of life from choices to shopping in the store. An unknown discovery on Tian Gong Space Station A strain of bacteria. Analysis of samples taken from China Space Station Qi showed that the interiors of the Tian Gong Station are inhabited by an unknown strain of bacteria, which developed new adaptations to survive in space. Scientists and scientists they indicate that the precise characteristics and knowledge of this bacteria and others microbes that adapt to being outside the Earth are necessary for protecting the health of astronauts and the functionality of the spacecraft during long missions. Scientists have discovered never-before-seen strain on Earth bacteria inside the Chinese space station Tian Gong. The new microbe has been named Niolia Tiangongensis, in honor of Tian Gong Station and is related to Niolia CIRC Wulans a pathogen that lives in soil, is linked to wound infections and can cause sepsis. Research on a new strain of bacteria has appeared on the International Journal of Systematic and Evolutionary Microbiology. Behind the research are scientists from Shenzhou Space Biotechnology The Group and the Beijing Institute of Spacecraft System Engineering. An unknown strain the bacteria discovered in swabs collected from inside Tian Gong Station in May 2023 the year. New species appears to be a close cousin of the known strain Onyolia CIRC Ulans a bacterium that has been a few years left this was referred to as Bacillus CIRC Ulans, but in the new the classification was transferred to the genus Nyolia. Nyolia CIRC Ulans and her cosmic relatives form extremely durable spores to survive a period of high stress the environmental. At this stage, it is unclear whether Nyolia Tiangongensis has evolved in the cosmos of Nyolia CIRC Ulans through specific mutations, or some spores with beneficial genetic changes are in an environment where these mutations could give an advantage. Analyzing a new strain of bacteria, the researchers found that it has the unique ability to break down gelatin as a source of nitrogen and carbon, which adds it is when you have to build a protective layer of biofilm under which it can take off, when conditions become difficult. But on the other hand, a new strain probably lost the ability to use other energy-rich substances with which his cousins are happy to feed. What's more, some mutations spotted in Nyolia Tiangongensis seems to improve the ability to respond to stress oxidative and increase repair possibilities after damage caused with the radiation. These are useful features, especially in space. This situation shows how easy it is for some microbes to settle in our orbiting habitats. And to tell the truth, there's not much you can do about it. Examination of so-called clean rooms that NASA used to preparation of the Mars Phoenix mission has revealed dozens of microbes. If microorganisms cannot be prevented to the equipment sent into space, it is crucial to estimate, in how microbes adapt to life in space. Detailed Nyolia studies Tiangongensis and similar species are essential for health protection astronauts and ships on long missions in space. It has not yet been established whether Nyolia Tiangongensis is threat to the health of astronauts, but given the ability of her relatives to induce sepsis in immunocompromised and newly discovered patients the ability to break down gelatin, potential health problems caused this and other cosmic microbes can be a serious problem. The presence of mutant bacteria is not as unexpected. Something similar has been observed many times on the International Space Station where along with the astronauts around the Earth orbits the entire menagerie of microorganisms, which got on board with people or supplies from the Earth. Construction of China's Tian Gong Space Station, name can be used translate as Heavenly Palace, in low Earth orbit it started in 2021. Then at the top of the rocket Long March 5B in space has been launched the main module of the station Tianhe, Heavenly Harmony. In July 2022, the Wendt 8's module joined Tian He, seeking the heavens, and in November, the third module of the station called Meng Tian, Heavenly Dream. In total, the station has about 110 cubic meters of spaces. Energy is provided by solar panels that can generate 27 kilowatts of power. The whole it currently has a weight of about 77 tons a fraction of the mass of the International Space Station which weighs about 465 tons. 
The station is about 20% larger than the ISS. How to assess the specialists from the Middle Kingdom, the life of Tiangong station will be shaped from 10 to 15 years. Tiangong's first crew appeared when it was in orbit just a TNG module. It was June 16, 2021. Taken off spent on her a deck of 90 days, three times longer than any previous mission China.